In this video, we'll talk about an application with vectors. A boat pilot wishes to go in a straight line across a river from the east dock to the west dock in a ferry boat that has a still water speed of 8.0 knots. If the river has a southward current of 2.5 knots, what compass heading should be maintained while crossing the river? Also, what is the speed of the boat relative to the land? It's always nice to start these applications with a little diagram. So I'll draw the west dock and the east dock, just represented as these dots here, and the banks of the river. And let's just orient ourselves north, south, west, and east for our compass. Now, what's happening here? Ultimately, ultimately what we want is this. This is our resultant vector, straight from the east dock to the west dock. That's what we want in the end. But we have to fight some current. This ferry boat has to fight the current, and it's a directly southward current of 2.5 knots. So it's coming down like this. And I've drawn this arrow a little bit big just so when I draw the other vector, uh, we can make space to, to show the angle in there. But here's what it looks like. We've got this vector. This is a southward current of 2.5 knots. The boat then is going to have to be aimed at a, a slight angle. It's going to have to be aimed at a slight angle like this just, just to fight this current. So it's going to be kind of shooting up this way and the current's going to be pushing it down so that it'll eventually get over to the other dock. So it will travel in a straight line, but it's going to be faced like this. And that's the vector for its for its a still water speed, 8.0 knots. So this is 8.0, and and then of course the southward current is 2.5. So we have a triangle here with these vectors. And adding the two vectors, the 8.0 and the 2.5, in the directions that I've given, gives a resultant vector of of directly from east to west. Okay. Now what compass heading? So we are going to find this angle, and then this angle won't be the answer here, but uh, then I'll, I'll show you how to find the compass heading from this angle. But this is the angle that we're going to start with. How is the boat going to be aimed just off of directly west? It won't be aimed directly west. Well, we know that the sine of theta would equal opposite over adjacent. So therefore, inverse sine of 2.5 over 8.0 would equal theta. So we have a theta of approximately, I've got a round now, 18 degrees. So that's this angle right here. That's this, this angle, 18 degrees. Okay. What about the compass heading? This is what it's asking us. What is the compass heading? Well, in navigation, generally, north is zero degrees, east is 90 degrees, south then is, you guessed it, 180 degrees, and west is 270 degrees. So if directly west would be 270 degrees and we're going an additional 18 degrees, then the compass heading would be 288 degrees compass heading. Okay, so that is, is our answer, 288 degrees. We are also asked, what is the speed? What is the speed of the boat relative to the land? And I've drawn this in green here, I've underlined this in green, because we want to find the magnitude of this, of this vector. Well, it's also like finding the, the second leg of this right triangle. So using Pythagorean theorem, we've got the hypotenuse, we've got one leg, we need to find the other leg. So I'm going to say the absolute value of, just to use the, the notation of, of vectors or the magnitude of the speed, equals the square root of 8.0 squared minus 2.5 squared. That's just Pythagorean theorem, just to find a missing leg then that magnitude 
is approximately, I'm going to be rounding here, 7.6 knots. That is the speed relative to the land. So the boat's motors are pushing it at, at 8.0 knots, but it, again, it's, uh, it's aimed a little bit off course there because to fight the current. Uh, relative to the land, though, its effective speed is just 7.6 knots across that river.